I think kids are amazing, though, man. With two kids. If you're a parent, you know exactly what I'm talking about. Kids are amazing. They are. When you, when you have the first one, they're, just, they're amazing. And then they, they get older and they start talking, and they're not amazing. <laughs> so technically, if you think of babies are amazing. A baby is totally amazing. Think about it. It's small. It's cute. It's adorable. It's always where you leave it. You know what, if you really think about it, the, the first baby is amazing, just the first one. Right? It's all downhill after the first kid, you know what I mean? Shut up, you know I'm right. You're a parent, you know I'm talking. How many people are here an oldest child? Raise your hand if you're the oldest, you guys. Yeah. You're amazing, you guys are all amazing. Who, how, how many people are not the oldest child? How many people are not? Okay. You guys are not amazing, not at all. None of you. But you're better, you're better. You're better. Parents make the mistakes with the first kid. First kid is the learning curve. If you were the second kid, you are an upgrade. You are a younger, smarter version of your older, stupider brother. You are. Think about it. You ever seen a family picture? There's always like a mom, a dad, four kids. The oldest kid always has like a lazy eye, chip tooth, arm in a sling. Yeah! I love mommy. But the oldest one's amazing. The oldest one is totally amazing, man. They totally are. You know why? Because you can't wait to have kids. You're excited. You're excited. With, for the first one, you talk to everyone, family, friends, everyone. You get all this information in your head. You read the books. You're ready to go. Then you have the baby, and they put him in your arms, and pfft, your mind goes blank completely. You stand there like an idiot with a baby. <laughs> I have a baby. And then you just got to figure it out on the fly. That's what every parent has been doing for centuries. They just figure it out. You're the first kid, you don't know what you're doing. You have no idea. You're convinced you're gonna screw it all up. Every time with the first kid, you're paranoid. No matter what happens. I used to stand and watch my oldest daughter sleep all night long. You put her in a little bassinet, right? And you wrap her up in that tight little baby burrito. And I would just stare at her. <laughs> look all night. Oh, no, four hours. Four hours. Because the only rule I had down was feed her every four hours. Right? And if she didn't wake up after four hours, I would panic. I'd go, oh, she's dead. <laughs> I think she's dead. She's dead! Oh, she's up, I woke her up, my bad. Not dead, not dead. If you have five or six kids, that sixth kid could be laying there dead and you'd be like, I'm pretty sure he's just sleeping. <laughs> Why don't we go take a cruise? We'll check on him when we get back. I'm sure he's gonna be fine. Your oldest child starts walking. That's a pretty amazing moment right there, man. Really, like, they, they mean really walking. They take the first step, second, third, fourth, and they're really walking, and you're blown away. You're like, ah, look, that's amazing. That is so amazing. You have five or six kids. That six kid starts walking, and you're just like, oh, man. He's mobile. 